Mainstream media finally jumped on New Mexico's sunspots solar observatory closure today. Well, this is one week after the mysterious sudden closure on September 6. What really happened? Nobody knows. But let me share with you some popular theories, and of course, my own. Well, actually, this would not be a news if FBI did not get involved from our zero. But they locked down the observatory in the post office next to it. Local sheriffs were told not to even come close. A Black Hawk helicopter was flying over. And around the same time, six other observatories worldwide were also shut down. I can't tell you if there is any conspiracy, nor can I say if this is the UFO that they don't want you to know. But I can say for sure, there are some secrets that you are not on the list to know. Before I share with you what I think may have happened, I will first share with you the theories that has been going around. There are footages showing strange objects near the sun, and it seems to confirm our worst fear. The intruders are closing in. Although these are nothing different than the video caught by NASA's camera in 2012. Dynamics Observatory caught the presence of a spherical dark object near the sun that seems to be absorbing energy from the sun. This had never been seen. Knowing the distance of the object from the solar surface, it must be enormous. Probably bigger than our planet. Observe closely. The dark sphere stayed near the sun for over 80 hours. When it moved away, it caused a great turbulence in the solar atmosphere that shaked for more than five hours. This proves that the unknown object is there. And it is consistent with my belief that intelligent beings have visited us before and will visit us now. The footage and the coincidental closure of the observatory seems to support this crazy theory. Plus, we predicted something may be coming to our solar system in several of our 2018 crop circle videos. While another popular theory is about problems with our solar system, our sun. Around the same time when the observatory was closing, a big hole in sun's corona that could potentially lead to problems on Earth. Actually, NOAA issued on September 11, 2018, a G2 solar storm watch. However, the public should be warned about this instead of being kept away from this information. Plus, a G2 solar storm is not the kind of mega disaster that you have to sell your house and buy a bunker. So there is really no reason for the government to close the observatory if it is about the solar storm. Of course, I have to say, we also warned about solar storm in our crop circle videos. Another theory that is getting a lot of attention now is about some spying device found near the New Mexico Observatory by Chinese government monitoring the weapon system in white sand. I personally do not buy this because the observatory is not a top secret site. It is open to the public, or should I say the Chinese probably feel there is nothing they have not seen. Although United States probably does not share top UFO secrets with the Chinese, our government did release the Navy encounter with some unidentified flying object in 2017. So even encounters with UFO wouldn't be new. As far as weapon systems, whatever they can spy on the device, they can probably pick up on satellite. 
However, these days it is easy and convenient to just blame the Chinese for every problem. So maybe that is why we have this theory. Could someone in some spot somehow caught some top secret footage? Well, it is possible, but remember, there is no secret under the sun. If anyone found anything big, that information would probably be found by other scientists in other places. But because Sunspot is in New Mexico, the place with the most UFO sightings, it is possible that someone may have caught something the government is not ready to share with the public. So, you know, they want to keep it for their eyes only. Or maybe they did not catch any footage, but instead they were sent information. But why Sunspot? Well, don't forget the famous 1947 Roswell incident. If they came once, maybe they will come again, or maybe they just never left. I don't mean to sound unpatriotic, but you really can't believe everything the government tells you. Don't you agree? This is Sherry. Thank you for watching.